Pounter keeps getting more deals, more publicity from all over, as well as demos, and much, much more. Looking at the stock first, Pounter has climbed its way back up into the $22 range, closing the week up around 8%, whereas last week they were down. This continues to show the volatility around Pounder as we get closer and closer to earnings. Now, Pounder posted first their PG&E webinar that took place last week. It's a long one around 50 minutes, so check it out when you have a chance. But they go over their PSPS, or Public Safety Power Shutoff, which helps them detect events that might need them to shut out a specific area off to prevent any ignition and crowd of the forest fire. So the big eye-opening popping results here for PG&Es with this use case is a 99% reduction in acreage burn from wildfires and then a 65% reduction in just ignitions. So they are detecting these earlier for prevention, of course, and if an ignition occurs and goes through, it's early enough to stop that and prevent it from spreading. In addition to these great metrics, of course, financially, they're also helped by minimizing disruptions to their services, which in turn also lessens the risks of getting fines and cutting off the power. So they're getting more and more efficient around preventative measures instead of dealing with the issue after it happens. Next, we got a new Bloomberg article here talking about Pounder's secret weapon, which are their AIP boot camps. The Bloomberg journalist visited an AIP boot camp out in Pontiac, Michigan, where there was a Komatsu speaker who was helping to run the boot camp, and they were one of the early adopters of Pounder's AIP solution. Now, it seems the student has turned into the teacher, but regardless, we get some awesome quotes from them saying you can literally do anything with AIP and Palantir themselves seeing the demand be exponential. And if you're looking for numbers, they compare last year's 500 boot camps, which took place mostly in the later part, with them now being able to run around five per day so far this year. So it's possible they may be on track to do three times the amount of boot camps from last year, and that's just based off raw numbers. But regardless, this is still playing out, and they even utilize RBC's analyst research who is an ultra bear on the stock as a quote-unquote counter argument for them, saying it's a pipe dream that these boot camps will not scale for Palantir because their software is too complicated. So I guess they wanted to balance the story out somehow. So we'll see how it plays out, but check out the article when you have a chance. Then, we get another analyst interview, but the reason I wanted to cover this one from this week is because they can see Pounder hitting $8 in three to six months. Now, in my daily video, they really don't talk about the fundamentals or narrative or even products of the company and just focus on the price itself as well as the price to sales ratio, which I do concede is expensive, of course. But other than that, they just focus on that valuation and technicals with possible macro headwinds, of course, causing Pounder to hit maybe 18 and then gap fill it down and then go down to 12 to 14 and then possibly eight. So I'll leave it up to you on your thoughts, of course, personally, but for me, it just seems much harder to head to those levels considering the last time we saw that, fundamentally and narrative-wise, Pounder was in a very much different place before AIP and boot camps and the progress they've made overall on the commercial front. But I'm not an oracle, of course, and I guess anything is possible. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about an $8 pound here. Now, a new partnership also gets announced with Perexel, who is a CRO or clinical research organization. They help run services for clinical trials, phases one to four, and work with many, many pharmaceutical companies, especially the big names, that sponsor the different drug discovery research that they are testing. Now, we get a few clues on the kind of work that they'll be doing with their data, and it should help them speed up, as well as improve efficiency around the transparency and running of clinical trials for these clients, which in turn can potentially bring drugs to market much quicker and safely. Now, approving drugs is still a very red tape heavy process, working with the government and dealing with multiple test phases, which makes sense considering the potential dangers of a drug and the side effects. Now, this partnership is a multi-year agreement. We don't get an exact dollar amount, unfortunately, with Palantir, and we know they'll be using Foundry and AIP as well with the statement saying they've been working with each other the past year. So it's always great to hear about a new deal, but even more so continue to see Pounder make strides with healthcare from so many different angles. Now we've also got the face of ARK ETF funds, Kathy Woods. She picked up another 45,000 shares as well as another 100,000 shares on Friday this week. It's a bigger buy than we've seen in the recent past, but not necessarily the biggest and of course a giant bonanza of buying, but still is buying in these low $20 range as we can see in the share price. Then we've got Coach Rep dropping an important video in my opinion for the Pounder community. The premise is sharing his thoughts and explanations of the latest AIP now we first heard about at the last AIP con. He shares his thoughts on what the platform means now and possibly in the future and maybe becoming a marketplace, but also touches on many other important initiatives and products around Pounder that most importantly shows where it fits into the landscape of software amongst Pounder's customers and what they are lacking from competitors right now and of course the value that Pounder can fill for them. Now I won't take his thunder of course, it's more than a 20 plus minute video, but it is a worthwhile watch as I'm saying here, it's for his longtime followers of Pounder, it's 
useful, but also those who are new and freshly ready to learn about the company and what it's all about. So it's a great start there. Then we hit that time of the month. Short interest has fallen again, another almost 5.5% down. This is a continuation of the overall trend with falling short positions on the company. And note, this is all while the price has remained in the low $20 range for the share price. So we'll continue to monitor how this trend continues. Then we get a new demo from Palantir, which I didn't cover in a Palantir Daily, called AIP Now Material Harmonization. This is another great walkthrough on how Palantir's AIP is so helpful for customers. And they do a demo of an example with literally harmonizing their data across many different source systems where if you're managing, say, raw materials, even from different countries, they show how a customer can tie these together, build out their ontology much faster and accurately with the help of AI agents. And they even showed an example where the only info from the suppliers was in Spanish, but they were still able to quickly extract out translate that into important metadata on that specific raw material for them so check it out when you have a chance for more details but let me know your thoughts below on everything on the news and i'll see you in the next video